What's up guys, I'm Wakas Ahmad Fat and make Zide and in today's video we will be creating this kind of hot metallic text design using Photoshop. This is fully customizable. You can use your text or you can use your logo. If you don't want to follow this complete tutorial, you can download the project file or template from the link in the video's description absolutely for free. Now let's jump to the video and get started. Okay, so open Photoshop and create new document. Size is 1920 by 1080 and the resolution is 72 pixels per inch. Click on create. For the background, let's drag and drop this image into the Photoshop and confirm it. Drag and drop this image on top of it. Also confirm it and change its blend mode to orally. Delete this background layer because we do need it. Select the top layer and create a gradient adjustment layer. Click here and select this black and white gradient. Change its style to radial and increase its scale to about 250. And make sure the reverse option is checked. Hit OK and change its blend mode to multiply. Now on top of it, let's create new curves adjustment layer and make the image darker just like this. Now select all of these layers, put them in a group by pressing Ctrl G. Let's rename it Background. Now drag and drop your logo into the Photoshop and confirm it. Convert the layer into a smart object so we can edit it later or we can replace our logo. Create new layer and rename it Texture. Convert the layer into a smart object. Go to Filter, Render and choose Clouds. Again go to Filter, Render, this time choose different clouds. Now go to Image, Adjustment and choose hue and saturation check the colorize option lightness is 10 saturation is 80 and the hue is 25 and then hit ok let's duplicate the layer by pressing ctrl j remove this hue and saturation from it go to filter and then filter gallery under artistic folder choose plastic war highlight strength is 20 Detail is 12 and the smoothness is 10 and then hit OK. Change its blend mode to color dodge. Now drag and drop this rock texture right here and scale it. Change its blend mode to hard light. Now right click on the layer and choose blending option. Hold Alt or Option key on your keyboard and click on this slider. And then move this slider slowly and gradually to the left side. It will remove it from the bright pixel. Now on top of it, let's create curves adjustment layer and adjust the curve just like this. Create a gradient map adjustment layer. Check the dither option. Click here and change this color. Hit OK and now click on this slider. Also change this color to yellow. Hit OK. Change its blend mode to multiply. And drop down its opacity to 40. Now select all of these layers. And convert them into a smart object. Also rename it lava texture. Now right click on the layer and choose create clipping mask. It will limit the texture only on the logo. Right click on this layer and choose blending option. In the layer style menu, click on bevel and emboss. Style is inner bevel. Technique is smooth. Depth is 500. Size is 5. Angle is 145. Altitude is 45. Highlight opacity is screen. Opacity is 100. Shadow opacity is multiply and opacity is 80%. Now click on inner shadow. Blend mode is multiply, opacity is 60, distance is 20, choke is 30, and size is also 20. Now hit OK. Now select both layer and put them in a group. Also rename it heart logo. Right click on it and choose blending option once again. In the layer style menu, click on bevel and emboss. This time the style is outer bevel, depth is 200, size is 25, 
Highlight mood is linear Dutch 8, opacity is 25%. Shadow mood is linear burn and opacity is 10%. Make sure the direction is up. Now click on contour. Check this option, click on this drop down menu and select this preset. The range is 55 and then hit OK. Now drag and drop this image into the Photoshop. Confirm it and change its blend mode to linear dirge aid. Also drag and drop this image. Resize it. And then confirm it. Also change its blend mode to linear dirge aid. Drag and drop the last overlay into the Photoshop. Confirm it, change its blend mode to linear dirge aid and move it right here. Now let's create a solid color adjustment layer and pick an orange color. Hit OK and change its blend mode to linear dirge aid. Select its layer mask and press Ctrl I to invert it. Pick the brush tool and select the soft tone brush. Make sure your foreground color is white. Dip once in the center. Now pick the move tool and move it right here. Press Ctrl T to open transform tool and squash it just like this. Also move it right here. Also drop down its fill to about 90. And now it is done. You can also change the logo. Open this group, double click on this layer, it will open a new document. And here you can replace your logo. So let's drag and drop this Apple logo right here. Resize it and then confirm it. Delete this logo. Close the document and save it. And Photoshop will update everything for you. Now it is done. Now if you wanna learn how to create this kind of design using Photoshop, you can watch this video. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Also ring the bell icon so you will get notified whenever I post a new video. I will be catch you in my next video. Till then, peace.